Hello, my babies. Today is day 17 of the 30-day X-Men Evolution Challenge. I got all of these topics off of Tumblr, and now, one day at a time, I am giving them to you, and I am giving you my answers. Today's question for X-Men Evolution was, what was your least favorite relationship slash romance? I actually have two answers for this. My least favorite relationship without the romance has to be Nightcrawler and Mystique. I've talked a little bit about this in one of the previous challenges. Basically, I don't think they did anything with this relationship at all. I think in a grand total of two episodes, it is referenced that Nightcrawler is Mystique's son. And outside of that, they don't do anything with it. Now, to be fair, they don't really do a whole lot of it in the comics either. There's just kind of, oh, by the way, this is a thing, but they don't really explore it all that much, or at least not to my satisfaction. So, yeah, that's a relationship that I really did not care for in the cartoon because they didn't do anything with it. A romance that is more than just a relationship that I did not like was the on again off again kitty pride slash avalanche thing um i actually liked avalanche in the cartoon a lot more than i did in the comic books i don't think avalanche really has a personality in the comics he's just kind of one of those guys he's there he was part of mystique's brotherhood i don't really know a lot about him he's just kind of a guy he's there he doesn't have a personality in the cartoon he does and so I liked him a lot more. Even if he was an unlikable guy, he still had more of a personality than the guy in the comics. However, I hated Kitty Pride. I did not like Kitty Pride in the cartoon. Little hint, I also did not like Kitty Pride in the comics, so there's that. I never understood why Avalanche had a thing for Kitty. I didn't see what he saw in her. And I don't really think, just on a very objective level, I don't think this relationship, they really ever did anything with it either. There were a few episodes where Avalanche was trying to flirt with Kitty. There was at least one episode where he tried to join the X-Men to kind of impress Kitty, and that didn't really work out for him. But overall, they didn't do a whole lot with this relationship either. So those are the two relationship slash romances that I did not like in X-Men Evolution. I would love to see what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree with my choices? I would love for you to tell me so in the comments below, or you can do a video response. I would really love to see your video responses. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another challenge concerning X-Men Evolution. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.